What's going on everybody? In this video, I wanna talk about why so many self-taught programmers end up giving up and never really achieve what they set out to do of getting a job or starting a startup or becoming a freelancer or an entrepreneur and using code to better their lives. A lot of people, you know, they get started and they learn how to code and then they realize that it's hard and they kind of stop or they pick it up and put it down, pick it up and put it down. Some of them eventually go to a boot camp. Some of them might end up going to college for it. And some of them just never touch code again. And it was just a phase that they kind of went through and it passed and they moved on to something else. And the first thing that I think of is one of my favorite quotes that's from Mike Tyson, that everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. And if you're looking at my office right now, you'll realize that the walls look a little different and everything kind of looks a little different. That's because the office that I have been working on for the last year or so is no longer going to be my office due to many reasons. And I'm not going to get into that in this video, but I got punched in the mouth a couple days ago with my office and that situation and then I had to change plans and I had to, I had to move into the guest room because that's what happens in life. Things, things happen, things come up. And what you set out to do sometimes doesn't go exactly as planned because you get punched in the mouth like Iron Mike Tyson would say. But with that said, I'm gonna just talk about some of the reasons why I personally think that many self-taught programmers and web developers or software developers or you know anybody that's trying to learn how to code, why most of them end up not accomplishing what they set out to do. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is doubt. So many people doubt themselves. They have no faith in themselves. They don't think that they can accomplish something that's so difficult. And I'm guilty of this. I doubted myself the whole way through. There wasn't a single point in time when I was learning how to code that I said, I got this. I'm, I'm good. I actually had to give myself pep talks all the time to you know, shake off some of that doubt and reassure myself that I don't care if I don't have this, I'm gonna do it anyways. And that's kind of the mentality I had to keep. Even when I got my first job, I doubted that they were gonna keep me. I doubted that I earned it. I doubted that I was supposed to be there. I doubted that, that, that I was actually doing what I set out to do because imposter syndrome kicked in and the fact that I didn't have a degree and I was a high school dropout and I had just learned how to code on my own and I really thought that everyone was going to catch on to me. I, I doubted myself the whole way through. And that's, that's what a lot of people do when they're first starting out and they just doubt themselves. They doubt that it's possible. They doubt that they can do it without a boot camp. They doubt that they can do it without an education. They doubt that they can do it on their own. They doubt that they can do it just a few hours a day. They just doubt themselves the entire time. So that's one, one big thing that I think holds a lot of people back from accomplishing the goal of getting a job because I know that's what many people set out to do, but some people want to start their own business or whatever it is when they learn how to code this, there's just all that doubt the entire time. And it comes with the territory. It's part of being a developer. You know how many times I come across a problem while I'm at work that I doubt I'm going to be able to solve that just seems too complicated. It, it's been like that since I started learning how to code. It's it, that feeling really, you know, it gets better, but it doesn't go away. And I, I, I mentioned that a lot in different videos. So just get used to the doubt. It's going to be there for, for a really long time and possibly even throughout your career when you do become a self-taught programmer and get a job. So shake the doubt. Don't worry about the doubt. Another reason why I think that self-taught programmers fail is because the honeymoon phase is great. The honeymoon phase is awesome. The first month or two, you're learning how to code, you're writing some HTML, you're writing some CSS, you're writing a couple for loops, even though you don't really know how, but you're like, oh man, I, I'm starting to understand it. And you're like in the tutorial phase where everything is just awesome and people are holding your hand the whole time and you're following along with whatever it is, Code Academy, Free Code Camp, you know, there, there's so many different ones that I, I am not going to list them all, but you're following all these tutorials and everything feels awesome. You're happy. You're like, I can totally do this. And then the minute that you take your training wheels off and, and you have to write some code on your own and you don't have that tutorial helping you, that honeymoon phase ends and it just 
reality sets in that this stuff is hard and you realize that you were having so much fun in the honeymoon phase because that was the easy part going through the tutorials and and writing your first few lines of code and seeing how you know code interacts with the computer and if you're doing web development how you can render html and css and create a web page you feel like you're a hacker you feel like you're a lawnmower man and then reality sets in and you realize that you don't know anything and that's like one of the hardest things that i think that many people don't get past that point when the honeymoon phase is over and reality sets in and they have to start writing stuff on their own. And I always tell people like, just keep at it, just Google everything and keep working on the problems that you have and force yourself to figure out what it is you're trying to build or what it is you're trying to fix or what it is you're trying to implement and just work through those problems and Google everything that you need to Google until you can get through that. And then another thing that really makes it difficult for self-taught programmers to succeed after the honeymoon phase is over, you get kicked while you're on the ground by the plateau because shortly after the honeymoon phase passes and you do start writing a few things on your own and you actually start building a few things on your own, you hit this nasty plateau and it's tough. I think that was probably the hardest, hardest part for me was that when I did get past the honeymoon phase and I started building some things on my own, I felt like I didn't know anything and it felt like nothing I was learning was sticking. Even though it was, I didn't feel that way. It felt like I was just on this straight line. There was no more of this upward trajectory for my learning. There was no more of that. It was just, I was trying to do the few things that I know and I was scraping by just with the bare minimum that I had learned in the previous months of doing all those tutorials. And I was just trying to like struggle through all the stuff that I was trying to build. And it was just this nasty plateau and I didn't see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I think that that's something that really gets a lot of self-taught programmers. And at that point, I finally started to go to meetups and I started to like, you know, kind of network with other developers and get myself out there and kind of get some reassurance from a community of people who were looking at my code or looking at the couple little things that I had built. And then they kind of gave me that little boost of confidence that I needed and they reassured me that I was on the right path, but I didn't have that until I went and met with people and I was just stuck on this plateau. And that's when I started thinking, maybe I need to go to boot camp. Maybe I need to go to community college. Maybe I'm not cut out for this stuff. And that's when that doubt that I was talking about earlier was really starting to hit me really hard was when I was just plateaued and trying to work through all the stuff that I was trying to build. And I felt like when I Googled stuff, I was cheating and I felt like if I, if I was copying and pasting code, I was cheating and it just felt like I wasn't doing anything right. And everything that I had learned didn't, didn't mean anything. And it was just, I was wasting my time is the way I was feeling through that plateau. So I know that many people will quit at that point, but I just, I trusted the process. And that's my next thing that I'm going to move into when self top programmers and developers quit is because they don't believe in the process. They don't believe that they can do it. They don't have any faith. They don't think that it's going to happen for them. They don't think that if they show up every day and they open up that text editor and they watch those videos and they read those blog posts and they learn about a technology that they're unfamiliar with, they don't think that all of that stuff is compounding. They don't believe it. They, they, they just really don't trust the process. And the process is hard when you're self-taught because you don't know the process, especially at the beginning. You're wandering around aimlessly. I remember I feel like I wasted so much time when I was first learning how to code, not knowing what programming languages I should learn, what stack I should learn, if I should learn front end or back end, or, or if I should learn JavaScript or PHP or Ruby or whatever it was at the time. I just didn't trust that if I kept showing up, regardless of what language I was trying to learn, regardless of if I was trying to figure out if I was going to learn SQL or no SQL, or if I was going to do bootstrap, or if I was just going to learn CSS, uh, Flexbox and grid, I, I didn't know, but I just kept learning even if I had no direction. And now there's a lot more resources that give you better direction, but 
I trusted the process. I believed everything that everyone was saying on, on the YouTube videos that I was able to find at the time when I was learning how to code. I believed in all the resources that were telling me to learn this stuff and to keep going. I believed and I just kept doing it. And it sounds so cheesy to say like, I believed, but I did. I believed in the process. I trusted it. And I just kept showing up every day. And I mentioned that in other videos as well. And, and if you trust the process, you'll be all right. But if you stop trusting the process, that's when you might fail if you're trying to be a self-taught programmer or a web developer. If you, you don't believe in the process, that causes a lot of people to just give up because they don't think that it's gonna work out for them. And I touched on this a little bit with not having any guidance, but another reason why self-taught developers end up giving up is because it's lonely. It is a lonely, miserable road to be on. At least that's how it felt for me until I started networking and I started meeting other developers. But I was so scared to go to my first meetup because I felt like I was a phony. I felt like I was just this, this dude that was looking at YouTube videos, thinking that he was a programmer. I was just trying to do whatever I could to build a website and put something together for my portfolio. And when I finally started networking, that road wasn't so lonely. And I started meeting other people that went through what I was going through. And I started meeting people that were sharing their experience with me. And I started realizing that a lot of these people were actually pretty cool and they were helpful and they were encouraging. And they weren't these people that I had imagined that they were gonna be. I, I thought that I was gonna go in there and they were all just gonna point and laugh at me and be like, ha ha ha, that guy thinks he's gonna be a programmer, ha ha ha. No, they were actually really, really cool. For the most part, almost every single person I met when I went to meetups were pretty cool. After that, I, I opened up and I wasn't so scared to talk about my code and people were actually approaching me and asking me like, oh, how long you been doing this? That wasn't too bad. You know, here's some pointers, here's some tips. You should do this instead of that. And then that's when I realized, oh, this is, this is what I needed. I was missing this. So that loneliness that you're experiencing when you're self-taught, it doesn't need to be that way. And I know right now, Things are all messed up, but you can find different forms of social media. You can find Slack groups, you can find discords, you can find just anywhere that you can on Reddit, anywhere that you can find people that you can communicate with. If you're in an area that is opened up and not on lockdown and you can go to actual in-person meetups and you can just follow social distancing rules and actually get to meet people in real life, I would highly recommend that over anything that's internet-based go in person if you can. If you can't right now, just supplement with anything that you can online. There's a lot of online meetups. I'm sure if you look around, you can find some and jump on there and talk to people online if you can right now. And once things clear up and you can go to in-person meetups, go because the road won't be so lonely and it'll help you get through being a self-taught developer. It'll help you with that loneliness. It'll also give you some guidance because that lack of guidance is also really big and really makes it difficult for people to accomplish becoming a self-taught programmer. And that pretty much covers a lot of the reasons why I think that it's so difficult for people to become self-taught developers or programmers and they quit. It's honestly a lot of those things, the doubt, the lack of guidance, when the honeymoon phase ends, and that plateau sets in and just not having anyone that you can talk to and communicate with and also not knowing you know if you're making progress or not because that was a big thing for me too just not knowing how far along i was in this process and not trusting the process was was something that would get me sometimes but i kept trusting the process and that's just some of the advice that i wanted to share with you guys just just think about some of the things that i said if you're feeling those things right now it's normal. It's this stuff is hard. I tell people all the time. It's 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 hard. It's programming for crying out loud, right? It's something that you hear about people doing and you just you can't wrap your head around it. And then when you try to learn it on your own, if you're like I was, where it was just like, yeah, there's no way that I'm going to be able to do that. And then you you actually start realizing that, oh, some of this stuff, if I study it long enough and if I stare at the code long enough, it starts making sense. And that's all I've been doing. I've been staring at code for the last four years and every day it makes a little bit more sense and I can write it a little bit better and I can understand what's going on and I'm getting better every single day. And I've been at it for four years. So if you've been at it for a few weeks or a couple months, or even if you've been at it for six months and you're, you're experiencing a lot of these feelings, just know that it's normal and that you're not alone 
Many of us go through it and many of us succeed and many of us land those jobs and many of us accomplish the goal that we set out to accomplish and we do become self-taught programmers. And I'm living proof. If I can do it, anyone can do it. And I say that very often because I, I say it to encourage people and I, I'm by no means anyone who should have ever become a programmer, but I did it just because I, I kept showing up every day, even when I was doubting myself and even when I thought it wasn't going to happen. And I just accomplished what I set out to do. So one day at a time, just keep at it, keep writing that code, keep reading that code, keep working on your projects, keep building your portfolio and you'll get there. Trust me. With all that said, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos of me talking about how I learned how to code and became a self-taught programmer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.